Hey, it's Joe, and uh, continuing on with the uh, series of videos about how to analyze deals. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about exit strategies. Actually, I'm going to do that over the next three videos, talk about different types of exit strategies, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, you have to figure out, uh, while you're analyzing the deal, what your exit strategy is. How are you going to make money on the deal? Is it going to, uh, and this audio, uh, or this, this little video, is going to be about uh, long-term versus short-term investment. Investments. Is this going to be a long-term investment for you? Are you going to keep it a long time? Or is it going to be short-term? Do you need cash now? Do you need to flip that property? And if you're going to have a real estate investing business, you're going to need both. The first thing you need in any real estate investing business is cash flow. So you need to do short-term investing to start with so that you have money coming in. No business is viable without cash flow, without money coming into you every single day. So uh, what you've got to do first is you've got to create create a stream of deals that are coming into you constantly, and we do this using the push-button method techniques that I teach, uh, but, but, but if, you, if, if you create a stream of deals coming in all the time, you do short-term flip deals, you're going to have chunks of cash. And, and it's great to have long-term, it's, it's good to have income coming in all the time from long-term investments where you're making you know, a few hundred dollars a month or whatever from every deal that you're doing. But you need to make $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 a deal instead and do quick flips and make them happen quickly without having to use your money, without having to use your credit. These are the things that I teach in my training programs, how to do that stuff, how to make it happen quickly. So if you're analyzing a deal, you need to look at it and say, how am I going to get rid of this property? Do I have to sell it for cash or am I going to be able to sell it on terms? If you can sell it on terms, it's always going to sell faster than if you could have sold it for cash, even if you lower the price. Uh, even if, if you sell it on terms and raise the price, you're going to be able to uh, sell it quicker because it's on terms. There's a lot more people that can buy a property if they don't need much cash and they don't need much credit. Uh, people's credit these days and loans have become very, very difficult to get. Uh, so I don't uh, do very much at all where it requires my buyers, my end users, to go out and get loans. It's just it takes too long to sell those properties. So I want properties that I can sell quickly. So there are two types of deals that I'm looking for. One, the, the uh, short-term flips that I can sell to an end user on terms and make a chunk of money like we do with the for rent method. We'll, we'll take a property, we'll get it under contract from another owner and uh, it, it, where we have an option to, to buy it on a lease option and then we sell our right to buy it on a lease option to another lease option buyer. That lease option buyer pays a lease option fee uh, to us. We keep the lease option fee. The first month rent goes to the seller and the seller gets full price for their property. It's a really win-win-win deal. Somebody who uh, could not have been able to, could not have bought a property, gets to buy a property. Their credit may be bad. They may have some other issues uh, with their with their income, but they have enough to make their payments. They get to buy a property they couldn't have bought otherwise. The seller, who may have had a hard time selling that property, is able to sell that property and get somebody in it who's making the payments for them and help stop the bleeding of that mortgage payment going out every month. And we make money because we just got the lease option fee. So we'll make you know two, three, five, ten thousand dollars on a quick flip like that that may only take us two weeks to put together and you know eight ten hours of actual work to do so that's what the for rent method is to, to put that together and those are very short-term very quick deals the other types of things that we're doing is we'll, we'll take them subject to the existing loan I talked about that earlier on deal structures in one of the earlier videos and uh, we take a property subject to the existing loan uh, we have the deed to the property then we sell the property on a lease option to somebody who's in a weaker position, if you remember my video on that. We'll sell it to somebody else on a lease option. We'll take a lease option fee on it and a monthly payment. Their monthly payment will help us make the payment to the mortgage, which will uh, give us long-term investment value. Uh, and we're going to talk about some of the other things that it brings as well uh, later. But, uh, but we'll also get the chunk of money, the short-term chunk of money. So it kind of is the best of both worlds. And eventually you want to do both of those things. But you want to make sure that the property that you keep, that you buy subject to, is a good deal. It doesn't make sense right now to go to California and do subject to deals. Let's say you've got a property that they bought for $500,000. It's now worth $350,000 know, a few years later. Uh, the values have dropped dramatically. Let's say they own, oh, $500,000 on this property and they're paying $3,500 a month. But the rent, the market rent on a property like that is only $2,500 a month. 
they can, we can still make money on a deal like that, and we can still solve the problem for the buyer and the seller, at least part of the problem for the buyer. We can get the buyer the $2,500 a month of income that they need, so they, instead, of having, instead of having $3,500 a month going out every month, they've only got $1,000 a month going out every, every month because they got $2,500 coming in from a tenant. They can sell it for full price at $500,000, even more than its market value right now, because we're selling it on terms. Our buyer comes in and gives us ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars as a lease option fee to take over that property and become the owner of that property. They're getting it at twenty five hundred dollars a month instead of a payment of thirty five hundred dollars a month, which is what they would be getting if they were getting the mortgage. So they're getting a good deal. They're getting to call it home, and if the values go up because we're doing longer term lease options on these types of deals, five years instead of two or three, which is what we do in in like the Midwest. Uh, then if it goes up in that five-year period and they want to buy it, then they're able to. And if not, during the time that they own it, they're the owners of the property, just like you. If you go out and get a mortgage on a property down the street from you and you live in that house, you call it your, your home. You've uh, fulfilled the American dream and you feel like, okay, that's, this is my house. It's not your house. It's the mortgage company's house. Your name happens to be on the deed. That's fine. So you have a principal ownership in that property. You, you have the right to that, uh, the use of that property, and that's way, the way we're selling it to people on lease option, giving them uh, the right to, to own that property, the right to live there, the right to take care of it, the right to be the homeowner. And that's worth an awful lot of money uh, to those folks. And uh, when we provide that opportunity, it really makes, um, really, really makes sense for them. So there's the, that's short-term money that we can make. And if we look at that deal to say, okay, this is how we're going to make short-term money, we're going to use some of these structures where we can flip these properties, uh, whether we're going to sell it for cash or whether we're going to sell it on terms, uh, we can still make that short-term money. Now, if we want to make long-term money, uh, <clears throat> that's going to be important as well. Uh, let's say I'm taking money out of my, um, my Roth IRA. I've got a bunch of money in there that I've made over the years that I want to invest. So I go out and buy properties. And right now, there's, there's some areas in the country uh, where you can buy properties. Indianapolis is one of them. There's a bunch of other places like this, but uh, where you can buy properties really cheaply. For $25,000 or $30,000, $35,000, you can buy a property that will have income of eight or $900 a month. Uh, compared to just three years ago, that same property would have gone for seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars. But the values have dropped because there've been so many foreclosures in those areas. And these are mostly blue-collar areas. You know, you want to stay probably want to stay away from war zones. Uh, and uh, they're not the nicest area in in the city, but they're good, solid neighborhoods with good people in those neighbors uh, as neighbors. And you're going to be able to get good tenants to do it. And you're going to find property manager to manage it for you. So with that kind of return, you're looking at between 15 and 30 percent return on your money if you buy these cheaper properties. If I bought a $300,000 property that only got me $2,000 a month income, well, the return on investment is going to be, you know, in the single-digit percentage returns. Uh, it's not going to be worth it. In some some of the cases, it may not even cover the taxes. So when you buy cheaper properties for the long term, a lot of times those make the most sense. Or if you buy notes that have a high return on those notes. I've got notes that I sell where you can get 15 to 18 percent return. I have properties that you can sell that you can buy that make uh, 12 to 18 percent return as well. So uh, if you're interested in buying these types of properties, if you've got cash and you want to do short term, you can buy them from me. Or if you're interested in selling these to other investors, you can build an investor list using the marketing techniques that I teach in the push button method, which you can learn at pushbuttonmethod.com. Uh, or you can get into my mentor program, which is zerodowninvesting.com, and learn those techniques uh, there. So this is uh, <clears throat> um, the being able to, to have an exit strategy, knowing what your exit strategy is, is it going to be long term or short term, is very important uh, as you're analyzing deals. So make sure you understand how you're going to get rid of that property uh, when you analyze the deal, before you buy it, before you get it under contract. All right, hope that helps.